Hey, what's going on, guys? Siptesh here. Welcome back to the channel after a long time. Uh, I had taken some break. There's been a lot of things going on in my life. So yeah, finally I'm back. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the performance of Horizon Zero Dawn remastered on the RTX 4060 laptop variant. We know that the RTX 4060, there is a, like literally no difference between the laptop variant and the desktop variant. And the laptop of our choice is my personal Lenovo Lock with the Intel Core i5 12450HX. All right, so without any further ado, let's get right into it. So what we will actually do is we will actually start Horizon Zero Dawn first, which is the OG version, all right? And we will go to a particular location, check how the FPS is there, and then we will switch over to Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered in the same location and check it out, like how much FPS are we dropping? Because there has been a, you know, a pretty substantial graphical improvement. Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered is basically using the same graphics as Horizon Forbidden West. So yeah, let's go. All right, so we are in this location. Let's just go through the settings real quick. Uh, going into settings, display, we are using at, we are at 1080p. Uh, I do have a 1440 monitor, but unfortunately I can't capture 1440p. So let's just skip it for now. When I'll have a better capture card, then we'll test 1440p. And going into graphics, we are using the ultimate quality and uh, TA as our anti-aliasing of choice, correct? Okay. So as you can see, we are at 100% GPU utilization. Let's just count our FPS. Cool. So as you can see in this area, right, we are at this, this is the max settings of Horizon Zero Dawn and we are at how much? Oh, like 95 FPS, right in this dense foliage area. Okay, 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 I need to hide. I don't want to attract attention over here. I just want to just, you know, move around in this area a little bit. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we are at 95 FPS. I think that's good enough for our I think I'm in the clear. reference. Okay, cool. Now let's just shift over to Horizon for, I mean, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered. And let's check the FPS in the same area. All right, let's take a quick look at the settings of the game. We are in the same area and uh, display again, 1080p. Okay, all of these settings are enabled. I have not touched any of them. We are, we are using DLA. So what we'll do is we will shift over to TAA instead of DLA because we don't have DLA in the, I think, in Horizon Forbidden, I mean, for Horizon or OG version. And yep, we are at the highest settings. All right, so let's go back there. And yep, there we go. So we have shifted from, from what? From 95 FPS, correct? So we have shifted from 95 FPS to 64 FPS. We lost 30 FPS. That is crazy. But but you can obviously understand, right? This game is far more GPU. This, this is a lot more intensive. The graphics has received a major overhaul. It's a lot more dense. The foliage is a lot more dense and also the foliage is a lot more varied. Like there's a lot more variety available here, correct? I don't wanna alert anybody over here. And I think I'm in the same area, correct? This is the same area, right? It looks like it. Pretty sure we're at the same we are at the same area. Yep, there we go. Here is the river. So yeah, we were at uh, 90 over 90 FPS in this place, and right now we are at only like we are averaging below 60 or just around 60. And you can take a look at the water. The water has received a major overhaul. Like it's pretty clear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. Okay, I don't want to alert anybody. I just want to move around in this place and just check it out. The water is like, it, there is a lot more transparency on the water. Okay. And if you go into the water, let me take, let me show you. Okay. Alloy actually gets wet. And uh, let me show you how, as you can see, right? The water effects on the body, the wetness, it's a, it's a, it's a good look. It looks, it, it actually looks pretty good. I don't want to alert anything. 
but yeah we have lost 30 more than 30 fps anyways so that was uh using taa now let's move on uh to a more more uh, visually impressive anti-aliasing method and that is a dla so we're going to settings display by the way let me stop counting the fps i'll i'll be using dla as my anti-aliasing method so as you can see there okay so we are using dla okay cool and just look at it using dla just gets rid of all the jagged edges it's it's a it's an amazing anti-aliasing solution and it is it is more uh, gpu intensive for sure let's uh turn on our fps okay and let's start counting our fps over here okay so we are above 60 fps let's uh let's take a fight with these guys correct these big ones Whoa, direct hit. So we are below 60 FPS guys. Take a look at the take a look at the GPU uh GPU power drop. We are over we are nearly pulling 90 FPS. And uh, that is typically a sign that we are GPU bound and you can see the GPU usage is at 100%. So that's cool. Okay, I don't want to attract all of these guys. It'll be like too hard for me to take on all of these. So yeah, we are averaging below 60 FPS with the DLA. Okay. But the thing is guys, it's kind of worth it because I don't feel the game to be stuttering a lot. It's pretty smooth. I am playing on a VR display, like a G-Sync display basically. And uh, I think it's fine. Uh, it's not, it's not bad. Let's turn on DLSS quality. Let's just wait for a second. Okay, let's count our FPS again. Oops, sorry. Okay, we have gained a few more FPS. Huh. That thing has got stuck over there. So using DLSS quality has put us over 60 FPS, which is good because we are still at the maximum graphical settings, guys, remember that. The game still looks very good. The game does look very pretty and we are over 60 fps which is good so yep okay now let's just hide over here for a moment and so we went from like i think 56 fps to 63 fps which is good uh do keep an eye on our vram allocation over there correct so let's go down to high now i am not sure if if I need to restart the game, okay. As soon as I went down to high settings, this is probably my uh, uh, the VRAM. Let's let's see, let's try it. Very high, okay. Yep, check it check it out. Check the VRAM over here, guys. Once I set it to very high, the VRAM available VRAM has gone down only to seven hundred fifty megabytes, and it's most likely it's uh, spilling over to uh, system memory, correct? And if I go down to high, check that out. We 
we load our uh, GPU, allocated GPU over here, and uh, also our available VRAM increased, correct? So let's just go down, let's go back there. And by the way, let's switch back to, let's turn off DLSS, okay? Okay, so we have turned off DLSS. We are using, we are, we are just using DLA. So basically again, uh, high settings using DLA. And uh, let's turn on our FPS pack. Okay. Okay. We are averaging the same using DLSS quality, but now we are at high settings. And basically I can't tell any difference guys, to be honest. Okay. We are averaging again, we are going down below 60 FPS on average. Just around there, but that's all right. Actually, I'm better at this game when using when using the uh, controller actually, not using mouse and keyboard. Although I can aim way better using mouse and keyboard, that is for sure. Whoa, whoa, these guys. So we are just under 60 FPS. Kill this as well. There we go. Another down. So, this particular battle has led us to having just 60 FPS. So, we are hovering, like we are fluctuating up and down, but uh, the experience has been pretty smooth. No no issues, guys, to be honest. This is a this is an enjoyable experience, in my opinion. I know it's not a high refresher experience or anything and an RTX 4060, uh, I mean, what can you do? If you want better FPS, I guess you just stick to Horizon, uh, the OG variant of the game, correct? Okay, we are going to use, we're going we're gonna to keep our high settings and just going to turn on, sorry, let's turn on uh, DLSS quality, cool. Let's just reload. Okay guys, so we are well in the 80s right now. That's cool. So DLSS quality using uh, uh, DLSS quality and at high settings. So we are not using the very high settings. And uh, yep, we are using DLSS quality instead of DLA. Let's pick up a fight with these guys. Just, it's gonna be a real quick one. We don't, I'm, I'm not gonna stretch it too long. Okay, not doing too great. I am. Okay, so yeah, now we are well over 60 FPS. This is a good experience, guys. Our temperatures are well under control. Oh my God. Oh my God, we've got four of them over here, man. All right, guys, I don't want to continue fighting these guys, okay? You get the point, it's over 70 FPS. So high settings using uh, DLSS quality uh, puts us over 60 FPS uh, in in uh, intense combat like this, which is what you're going to do most of the time in this game. So yeah, overall the game looks beautiful guys. It looks amazing. So yeah. All right guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel 
and also consider turning on the notifications. With that said, guys, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.